But yo, what is up, fan squad? It's your boy Ben Got Fame, and we back with another video. Now look, you read the title, bro. You know what you came to this video for, bro. And I'm ready to give you some fat nigga tips, cause like, I mean, I'm pretty sure every fat nigga out there got their own tips. You know, you know, especially if you've been fat for a long time. You feel me? Cause like, bro, we some of us had to rock like this for a while, bro. We we learned some tips. You know, some some what not to do and some what to do that. You know, certain situations. But look, bro, I'm here to give y'all uh, 10 tips. 10 of my own tips, you feel me? I've been fat for a long time. Like, bro, how many of y'all been fat since y'all were love? You feel me? Like, it, it get hard, bro. It get hard, bro. But, like, just because you fat, bro, don't think of that as a bad thing. It's just you eating more than niggas, bro. You feel me? We eat, we eat, we eat better than niggas, you feel me? But it's okay. If you want to get skinny, you feel me? Go put some work in in the gym, bro. <sighs> But hey, look, bro. We let's get on. The, um, let's get on to tip number one, bro. I want this to be a short video. Step number one of being a fat nigga, bro. Something, something that I feel like is is the most important, the most important tip. This is why this is going number one. If you gonna be a fat nigga, you gotta, bro. You gotta smell good at all times. Like, bro, fat niggas do not stink. Like, where where did y'all get this information from? Like, first off, let me hook you up, my guy. Look. It's a website called DrSquatch.com. Go on there and get you get you some deodorant, get you some soap, get you some shampoo. You feel me? And look, if if that's too expensive for you, I mean, it's not that. I mean, it's not that much. Like a bar of soap be like seven dollars. But like, bro, if you a fat nigga, bro, you you must smell good at all times. I'm gonna give y'all I'm gonna give y'all the whole rundown, the whole rundown, bro. Look, when you get in the shower, boom. You know what? I, I ain't even ready to tell another nigga how to shower. Boom. Get in the shower. Do what you got to do. Make sure you wash the right spots. When you get out of the shower, apply deodorant. Now, look. Deodorant go under your arms, under your titties, and you, you dab on the neck. I'm telling you, bro. I, I, ain't, I don't think I ever, ever got caught off guard smelling. How about? I don't think I ever got caught off guard like that, bro. But, like, yeah. Also, after that. Cologne. Cologne is one of the most important steps of smelling good. But you cannot put cologne over funk. That shit gonna smell trifling. And also, when you get a bar of soap, bro, and you like, damn, this smell good. Don't think the smell of the soap gonna last forever. The smell of the soap should last 30 minutes after a shower. And if you still smelling it, you did something wrong. Simple, bro. Like, everybody should know this. But step number three. White. White. See, y'all see how I'm not aiming down. But look, white is our enemy. As, as a fat nigga... A white t-shirt is a dangerous thing. Are you going to the beach or something? I know it's summer. It's going to be hot. That's why I say you got to smell good. But, but white is a dangerous thing. If you're going to wear a white t-shirt, make sure you get an oversized one, bro. Black is our best friend. Like, like no cap. Black is our best friend. Number four, fashion. Bro, if you a fa I feel like every fat nigga, bro, like, you you got to dress if you a fat nigga, bro. You, you got to dress. I mean, like, it's okay. Like, if you ain't going nowhere special, you feel me? Dress comfortable. You feel me? Slides. Joggers, shorts, you feel me, etc. Like dress comfortable, bro. But if you going out somewhere, bro, bro, you gotta stick out. Like, like people gonna be looking at you anyway because you fat, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? Step number five, bro. Hairstyles, bro. It's not too many hairstyles that a fat nigga can rock. Now look, you got, you got the waves. You got the typical fat nigga with the waves. You feel me? That look alright. That look alright. Like I, I be seeing y'all, y'all, y'all be stunned with that look. But me. Like, I gotta have a lot of hair, bro. You feel me? Cause, bro, if you got if, if you got a lot of hair, if you got good hair, you feel me? Like, it's gonna make you stand out. It's gonna make you stand out. I'm telling, you, bro. I will not lie to y'all, bro. Guess like grow your hair out, get some twists or something. You gonna be good, my nigga. Alright, yeah. Move, moving on to um step number six. If it if it's gonna be hot, prepare, bro. Like, like, bro. Y'all ever been somewhere cold and just be sweating? Like, bro. It's not our fault, bro. It's just cause we fat, bro. Like, like, damn. But look, bro. If you know it's gonna be hot, dress like that. If you know it's gonna be hot, do not, do not wear no jacket. Bro. Like, bro, you feel me? Sweat is also our worst enemy, bro. Heat. Oh, number seven, bro. Look, I don't know. I don't know how y'all gonna react to this, bro. But it's it's just my opinion. Fat niggas should not wear Vans. Like, out of the question. Fat niggas should not wear Pumas. Like. If it's a narrow shoe and you a fat nigga, do not wear it. Because people going to say your shoe's leaning. Hey, bro, I wish somebody could back me up on this, bro. I will not tell y'all a lie, bro. I'm looking out I'm looking out for every single one of y'all. I ain't going to waste too much time on the subject because you feel me. I got to get going. Step number nine. If you a fat nigga, you must be funny. Like, end of the discussion. 
I, like, I don't know if you gotta look up jokes or something. If you get in a heated argument and it come down to what a nigga, you, you can't be lacking, bro. You gotta get on his ass. Fat niggas, they so prone to, like, like, when a nigga just, like, bro, when a nigga just wetting us, bro, like, like, all they can say is we fat. That's the main, that, but that's the main shit a nigga could talk about. But you feel me? Like, since they skinny, bro, like, we could wet niggas in ways that'll hurt their feelings. You feel me? Like, all right, I'm fat. You broke. Simple. Moving on to step number 10. Like I said, bro, this is just for me. Fat niggas and fat girls, I feel like them relationships just don't match. A fat nigga with a thick jank, I understand. You feel me? But a fat nigga and a fat girl, it's not going to match. I'm not trying to be funny. I, I, like, I went through the phase where I, I, I love my fat girls too, but I, I love y'all. I love y'all, bro. Oh, God. From here. Like, y'all had a special place in my heart at one time, bro. So, I cannot lie. But, bro, in my opinion, it just, it's not going to match. Like, a fat nigga and a fat girl, bro, it's just like, it's just a... It, it's just a, a impeccable situation. Like, bro, if a nigga got mad enough and just started wetting y'all, bro, I feel like he could hurt y'all feelings. Like, I feel like he could really make y'all cry, bro. Oh God. But if you do got, if you a fat nigga out there, and you got a big girl. Don't don't let me mess up y'all relationship, bro. Keep loving her. You feel me? I, f I fuck with y'all doing, bro. Don't stop loving each other. Hey, if y'all don't like the hate, bro, this just this just tips. Um, if you, you feel me? Yeah. If you a fat nigga with a fat girl, I feel like, bro, you gotta have money. Bro. Cause like bro, we fat for a re bro. We like to eat, bro. Like my nigga, food is food is good. Like food is good as fuck, my nigga. Like seafood boils, Jamaican food, chicken. Let me stop, bro. I'm on a diet. Fuck. But look, I'm just saying. That's tip number ten. Hey y'all, it's your boy Big Guy Fan, bro. I'm out. Hey, listen to my tips, especially that first one. Like, I'm gonna need y'all to get on that first one, cause like, I'm tired of, I'm tired of that being like the go-to fat nigga thing. Like, we stink. We out, man. Let's go. I was the man in my city. I had everybody fucking with me. When niggas see you start to do better, then them niggas really start to envy. I remember the nights I was lonely, but I had smiles on my face by the daytime. I've been working for that success only, so I won't let another nigga take my baby. I had to roll up some blood. I had to throw away all of my pain. I'm speaking a hundred, I'm blind. I promise I'll make you remember my name. And I forget you if I could, but you'll be stuck in niggas' brain. And I forget you if I could, but you be stalking in nigga brain, baby. I don't mean to do you wrong, but I'ma fuck you then hit the door. 